Hello YouTube, Darnock is back. This message is out to Jesus Freak 777 for his video, uh, Cancer Within the Church. Jesus Freak, I would like to ask you some questions, and I'd like some answers if you don't mind. Are you aware that uh, the concept of marriage has been around well before Christianity was ever around and way before Judaism was ever around? Are you aware that the church does not have, have an historical right to the term marriage or what it actually entails? Are you aware that you are using your own religion to spread bigotry? Now, I, I will admit that right now I am feeling more pissed off than I normally would feel, and I am probably projecting a lot of aggression into this video, maybe because people like you are preventing people like me from marrying the man that I fucking love. Religious people like you hold up your holy text and says, Our God says that this is not right, so we don't think that that group over there should have the right to marry and be joined together and have all of the same legal benefits that you straight people do. And you call this a cancer within your church. I don't care about your church. I don't care about your religion. And I don't care about your God that none of you theists has, have ever proven actually exist. What I care about, first and foremost, is equality for everybody, regardless of the color of their skin, their nationality, their sexuality, their sex itself. What you're spreading in this video, Jesus Freak, is just more bigotry. I hope that one day, you know, uh, soon, that it, it, it will be legal for, um, for homosexuals to get married just like heterosexuals. Because if you look at the actual st statistics, more than 60% of marriages fail. The majority of those marriages fail first and foremost because of financial issues. The second cause is incompatibility to sex which means that the two individuals are not compatible sexually. And that, and that causes a lot of frustration within the, the cohesion of the joining. Um, this happens in homosexual relationships too. The only difference is, is that in my experience, I have known homosexual couples to stay together longer than heterosexual couples. I really don't know if that is a real statistic out there, so I will not actually use it as an overall for this, but I am just telling you my own personal experiences out there. Just wondering, Jesus Freak, do you realize how much fighting has actually gone on for us to get where we are at now and that there are people like you that just want to push us back